Hello, hello, my funky little coconuts. Welcome back to the Coco Naughty channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Carla. I am the owner of art and fashion boutique Coco Naughty. Hopefully I put that on the screen here. If not, it will be down below. Today is going to be one of my top five videos. Today we are going to be talking about, it's going to be a show and tell session. Before we jump into it, is today going to be a fedora day or not a fedora day? I was wearing my fedora today, well one of my fedoras, and you want to see since I'm all, well you can't see it on camera, but I am very gold today. You want to see the funky shoes I was wearing today? One of my favorite pairs. I love these so much in fact that I purchased three of them because I got them at Oh God, I got them maybe five years ago at a Forever 21. Seriously, I got them at a Forever 21 that was closing and they look very much like Chelsea boots, but they're gold glittery fabric. They were on clearance for like $10. I got three pairs of them. I should have got more, but anyway, that was the get up today and uh, it looked cute with the hat. Oh, do you like these earrings by the way? They're super, here, focus on the earrings, focus on the earrings. Can you see that? Super tacky gold rhinestone earrings. I am testing these. They are likely going to be in the shop. I've been wearing them all day with no issues. They're comfortable. They're gaudy, large, but lightweight. So I have very sensitive ears. So costume jewelry, costume jewelry usually, usually irritates my ears if I'm wearing that for more than like two hours, right? If they're too heavy, it's just, it's my ears suck, okay? But when costume jewelry does not irritate my ears or it irritates them very little after wearing them for hours and hours and hours, that's a win for my sensitive ass. So these are going to be likely coming to the shop soon. Stay tuned, follow me on Instagram to keep up with those updates. But without further ado, let's get into the show and tell. I can't figure out if I want today to be a hat day or not a hat day. And let's see. Oh, is that, is that... Is that okay? Is that okay? Because we don't want to see the bottom half. We're trying to see all of this plus the top of my head. So, should we? I mean, I love a hat. I really do. You know what? We're going to do a whole lot of adjusting today on camera. Such is fastidious clothing lover life. Uh, blame the espresso I had today. I'm now trying to be a little bit healthy by drinking my green juice. I've been getting into the habit of drinking this every single day. No sweetener, there's no fruit in it, no sugar. It's just bitter. Well, it's not necessarily bitter, but it tastes like grass and dirt. It's just green stuff. Chlorella, spirulina, wheatgrass, all of that healthy shit, right? But I drink too much coffee, so we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to be good to ourselves. All right, so let's get into our, oh my gosh, what a mess, you guys. Candles everywhere. All right, now let's get into the show and tell. All right, so today we are talking about my top five vintage pieces that I added to the shop this month in no particular order, but I'm going to reach for one right off the bat that I think I mean, I try to, to hold off my favorite until the very end, but I think, hey, we're missing a piece. <gasps> oh, we're missing a piece. Hang on, hang on. All right, I found the missing piece. And actually, oh, this is so, this, okay, I'll crop it in post-production. But anyhow, the first piece that we are going to talk about today, we're gonna start with a bang today because, oh, little lady, little lady, get yourself situated. I have to be careful. Because when I'm cropping, uh, just, welcome to my life, welcome to my channel. This is how we do things around here. We are scrappy and unprofessional. Hey, I'm doing my best. We'll improve with time. Just give me about 50 million years. So the first piece that we are going to share today is this unbelievably 80s, gorgeousness. This is absolutely hands down one of the pieces that were it my size, this would be in my closet forever. There are some pieces that I say, oh, if that were my size, I would keep it for a good time, not a long time, right? But this is one of those pieces that is definitely a long-term favorite. Now, while I'm speaking about the piece, I will insert photos of 
either myself modeling the piece or my mannequin. So you can get an idea of what it looks like on a form. But this is a 100% silk 80s gorgeousness. Do you see the geometric pattern? I am extremely partial to patterned vintage silk. So this one has everything I love going for it. It's got the magenta color. Magenta is my power color, okay? I am a purple monster. Purple is the color of my soul, but magenta is my power color. I you can't tell in these videos, but my armchairs here are a bright, bold magenta. They are not red. They are, in fact, magenta. I love magenta. Look at this. They're actually very similar to this color, but camera sucks, old, can't pick them up. You know how it is. But this beautiful piece has everything I love. It's got contrasting colors, the magenta, the black piping. It has a beautiful asymmetrical neckline. Can you see that? It's a subtle asymmetrical neck. Well, it's not that subtle, actually. You can definitely see it. It's an asymmetrical cut here. Now, depending on how this fits on your body, this could actually be a bit more centered than it appears here. You see that? It depends on how you choose to wear it because there is an actual little button here. It's a little snap, I should say. So if you want to be a little bit more modest and be a little bit more centered, you can. However, if you want to wear it a little bit unfolded like this for a more asymmetrical look, you can do that. But it has the pattern silk. It's got the deep V, which I love. The best part is this incredible tail in the back. So it is a light peplum in the front. You can see it's got the frilly ruffle peplums. I love a peplum. I'm short, so I look good in a peplum because of my body type. I have no boobages up here. My hips are not super wide, but they're disproportionate. Okay, disproportionate, ooh, standards, right? To the rest of my body, and I tend to think that I look cute in a peplum. It makes me look, you know, just a little frilly and fun, you know. So I love a peplum. It accentuates the waist a little bit, and yeah, I just, I'm gushing about this piece forever because I, I mean, truly, this is such a me piece. But alas, it is not my size. This is tagged a size 10, but I always tell you guys never go by vintage tags go by the measurements but if i remember correctly this is closer to a large always visit my website for measurements if you are interested but this is incredible imagine this paired with i well you could do this many ways but a really tight mini skirt or ultra tight liquid metallic spandex or uh, pvc leggings some really cute heels or some incredible vintage style booties I love this girl. Amazing, she's available. Whoever snatches her, oh my God, I would be eternally, eternally grateful if you snap a photo and tag Coco Naughty in it so I can see it because damn, that's a good one. It's got shoulder pads. The shoulder pads on this one can be easily snipped out if you don't want the shoulder pads. I love a shoulder pad, but I know they're not for everyone. So I leave them in everything. If you want to take them out, that's on you, do you? Next up, we are going to, we're going to go ahead and keep the pink theme going for a second. Fussy and pink. You guys know I love a fussy vintage garment. There is something about vintage construction that we simply do not see today. It's expensive to produce. People uh, tend to prefer comfort over style. See, I'm the opposite, but I also think that you can be comfortable and still be stylish or at least have some semblance of style. Today, for example, I'm walking around in literal PJs. These are leggings with a little sports bra type of top, although I think it's just more of a bralette. But I tossed a chain belt on, my chunky bangles, we got my gaudy earrings, my funky shoes, and I essentially have been running around in my pajamas today, but I look cute, right? It's, it's presentable, it's a presentable way to wear comfortable clothes. Still doing the most, but we're doing it in stretchy PJs. So this is the complete antithesis of that, as was the previous garment. This one here, we'll just, we'll go through it. So she's got the shoulder pads, which again can be easily snipped out if you prefer, but she's got buttons and she's got snaps and more buttons, pleats for days, 
more buttons. Check this out. Whoa, how precious is this pink dream here? The color is incredible. It's a pastel pink. I'm not a pastel girl myself, but excuse the gremlin. We are going to take this barky moment to take a drink because there, there's something going on outside my apartment and the dog is not having it. Okay, so as I was saying, pink is not necessarily my personal aesthetic, but imagine this paired with either some white pants and some combat boots, just some classic Doc Martens for, it's a, it's a cute girl with a slight edge look, right? Cigarette pants, tight white pants, some black combat boots, maybe a black fedora would look incredible with this. Of course, you can style it in many different ways. You can femme her up and wear a little skirt situation. But I think for me personally, if I was going to style this, it would definitely be with uh, black cigarette pants. I know I said that I, I would like to see her with white. That would be a cute look. A very 80s look would be white pants with this. But I would do black cigarette pants, meaning ultra skinny leg pants, black pants, some combat boots, or some flats, some really cute pointed ballerina flats, maybe some strappy ballerina flats, pointed toe, and with a hat. A nice black hat would be ultra cute with this. So black, pink, black, and then black on the feet, right? So cute. Love this piece. She's just pleats, pleats, pleats for days. Amazing, look at these sleeves, precious. All right, next, just to mix it up, and we're gonna switch to black, okay? So this, where we talked about two ultra fussy pieces, this is a basic, but I still consider this to be a little fussy because this is a really cute, yes, original tags. This is an early 90s, new with tags piece of evening wear. It is a beaded bolero. And I will of course insert photos so you can get a better view. But it's got this gorgeous beaded and sequined applique on it. So it's got beads and it's got sequins. And look at this. It's subtle, but it's still there. I am very partial to black sequins. If you know, you know. Black sequins and one of my favorite pieces to accessorize with, which you see in tons of my photos, are jet glass, they gotta be glass, no plastic, glass beaded necklaces. They have this sparkle to them. It's just a subtle sparkle, but you see how cute this is? Now this is not my size, it is a little bit too large. This is a, uh, a medium, just about. I am a size small and I have no boobs so we have that going on so I have you know the body of a 13 year old boy up here and it just does it it doesn't do justice to this girl but do you see how cute this is just casually you can wear this with jeans you can wear it with a cute little mini skirt little shorts for a day out just running around doing your thing it looks cute with a bralette if it were my size I would keep it but this is one of those pieces that doesn't make my heart go but it's, it's a good staple, right? If you just wanna throw on some black pants and a bralette, it would look good with any color pants, it's black, right? But we're talking about me here. Everything is black, 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 everything. But if I was in the mood to just be casual, some black pants, a little bralette, cute little shoes, little boots probably, throw this on and I feel a little bit more elevated in my casual wear because it is lightweight. The applique has some decent weight to it, but it's not uncomfortable. It's a very easy to wear, lightweight little bolero. New with tags, baby. If you are a stickler for new with tags vintage, if you love finding that, those pieces that are brand new, never touched, this one's for you. I honestly, I could care less if something has been touched or worn by someone else, I don't care. I'm in love with the fantasy of knowing that somebody may have been wearing a party dress that I'm wearing, you know, whoever that was, boy or girl back in the 80s, Go nuts on the dance floor. I, I just, I love the provenance, or rather the imaginary provenance that I'm making up in my head about a garment. But if you like something that's new, never touched, new with tags, really cool looking, early 90s tags, by the way. Look at that typography, gorgeous. This one is ready to go in the shop. The chest is free size as there are no buttons, no snaps. It's just a ready, ready to wear, ready to go, easy piece. Now we are going to go with another 90s piece. This is a, 
this one stumps me a little bit though. It could be very, very tippy top late 80s to early 90s, but I, I am going to venture to guess that this is early 90s, closer to, you know, 1990 to 1995-ish, as opposed to 86 through 89, right? So, I mean, that's neither here nor there, but this is a really cute, really, really cute sheer mesh dress with raw edge appliques. Now I'm showing it to you just like this sheer, but it does include a liner. It does come with the original black, <clears throat> excuse me, black slip liner that you can wear underneath this, but just for the purposes of demonstration, I have taken the liner uh, out of the picture. So if you take a look at this, it has a zigzag, see it's got that late 80s, but early 90s, geometric abstract situation going on the appliques are unique here in that they are all raw edge so this 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 definitely has a little goth girl look to it but you can easily style this in more of a grunge style you could be hey you want to be a grungy little goth goblin you can do that pair this with some really chunky boots a big ass hat i mean one of those wide brimmed like new what do they call it it's a new goth look you know that witchy poo giant brimmed hat with some boots incredible this now you would think that this would be a stretchy little easy to wear casual dress and while it is a casual dress in style and it is easy to wear I think this was billed more as um, like funky evening wear for cool girls and I say that because it has this really wonderful heavy-duty rhinestone button on it it's really sparkly in person. It's not gonna translate on camera, but it sparkles. And just a run of the mill, little casual throw it on dress wouldn't have that sort of detailing, but it, I think it's just an elevated piece of casual wear that you can style in many ways. I personally, although I do like the liner, when I have sheer pieces of clothing like this, I tend to pair them with a cute bra, a statement bra and some really cute biker shorts or some really cute frilly high-waisted uh, burlesque style lingerie shorts, right? I like to give a little mm, when I pair sheer clothing with my under things. You gotta have cute under things if you're gonna wear something like this, or of course you can resort to wearing the liner. Moving on to the last, not least, but the last piece. And you drink first, I gotta prepare for this one. The, this baby girl right here, ooh. She's a lot. She's a lot. We're going back to the fussy fuss fuss fuss. And we are continuing. I, I guess I had sheer dresses on the mind this month when I was updating the shop. But you all, look at this monster. Okay? Completely sheer. This one does not include the liner. But let that not deter you. I told you. Pair it with a cute bralette. And some little booty shorts and you are all set or if you are bolder than I just wear it like this just rock it like this at the club if you want to go to an 80s club wear nothing but this you're all right I mean if you're going to the right clubs you can dress that way and not get kicked out pro tip go to a gay club they don't care so anyhow this beauty is a gorgeous shade of royal purple look at this beautiful look at this purple it is beautiful horizontal stripes on the top. It has a tiered structure, it's semi-tier, and then we've got the vertical stripes down at the bottom. So this, because it does have a cinched waist, you can wear it up a little bit, you can bubble the bust just a bit, you can wear it long and then put a large belt on it. It does have belt loops. When I purchased this, it did not have any belt, but you could easily wear, I mean, you can style this with any belt you want, a skinny belt, a big chunky belt, uh, you can snip the belt loops off altogether if you don't want them there and you want to style it with scarves or belts or anything like that. You can certainly do that. And she has <laughs> the appliques. I told you all, magenta is my power color. So you understand why when I saw this, just hanging there, unloved, I saw this and it was like a beacon, a beacon on a foggy night. Come get me. Come touch me, come pick me up and take me home. 
I tried this on. I'm not going to lie to you. I tried it on. It does not suit me personally, even though I love the dress. I have just a very, I mean, by looking at me, you think you're just a basic standard size small, right? But my body has weird nuances to it that are difficult to fit the way I want to. And especially, I'm very short. I'm five foot two, barely, 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 barely. So I'm really small. Proportions are weird with me, you know, but... And I'm, I'm just very particular because if I show this dress to people on me, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, it looks cute on you. But to me, it's like, mm, it's got to be just right. It's got to be just right. Uh, but she's cute. Style this in whatever which way you want. When I see this dress, I imagine a cute candy goth look. If I were a cartoon character, a gothy cartoon character in Candyland, I would probably be rocking this with lots of heavy... Uh, gold and pink glittery crosses and onks and I would probably wear some giant pink well you know what I was gonna say giant pink platform boots which would look cute with this but I think I would do a uh, sparkly glittery pink Victorian style boot with a lot of those rhinestone crosses and onks as I was saying and then I would wear a wide brimmed hat with maybe some pink sequins on it I don't know but that would be my goth look with some really exaggerated cat eyeliner and pink makeup just just a candy goth my i'm gonna title this i think i did title it already if i changed it before this video i'm going to call it my uh my candy goth cottage dress because doesn't it look like just something that you would wear if you had a little gothic uh what do you call it gingerbread cottage so cute now i have the most incredible pair of boots that i paired with this in the modeling shots the most ridiculous pair of magenta boots. I'm telling you, magenta is my power color. You don't have to go that crazy with the footwear on this or with this, but you can if you want to. I just happen to have the perfect boots for it. All right, you all, that is going to do it for today's top five pieces. That does not mean that these are my only five favorites. My store is stocked full of wonderful clothing, but for this month, these are the five garments that stuck out to me. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and having a little show and tell session of my wardrobe and my clothing stock for my vintage store. Everything you need to know will always be down below. Links to my shop, to my social media. Get out of here, shoo, shoo, shoo. Go do something fun with yourself. Be spicy, be funky, and wear whatever the hell you want. Never worry about anybody else. You're the only one that matters, so dress yourself fabulously. I'm going to take off now. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.